I'm Arthur Klatsky. I'm from the Kaiser Permanente Medical Care Program in Oakland, California. My presentation has to do with the risk of coronary disease in South Asian Americans. That means persons of Indian, Bangladeshi, Pakistani, and Sri Lankan ancestry. But for all practical purposes, we're talking about South Asian Indians who live in the United States. Now, there are a few previous prospective studies, although only one very small one in North America, and that was ours, that suggest that there's a very high risk of coronary disease in this ethnic group. There are a fair number of case control and prevalence studies that support this, so it's fairly well established, but prospective studies in po large populations are scarce, and we decided to update our previous small-scale pilot study. We now have a large number of coronary events, more than 7,000 in 126,000 persons, including almost 1,000 South Asians. The bottom line is that South Asians are about two and a half times like, more likely to be hospitalized for coronary heart disease, most of these being acute myocardial infarctions, than any other ethnic group. We compare it to seven other ethnic groups, including whites, blacks, and various other Asian groups, plus Hispanics. And for each of these comparisons, the South Asians were more than twice as likely to be hospitalized for coronary disease, even when we controlled for all possible coronary risk factors. And we had data on most, not every possible one, but most that could be involved. We don't think there's any evident explanation for this high risk. It doesn't seem to be due to the standard risk factors because we controlled for these. Some people have suggested that there's a higher prevalence of the metabolic syndrome, of insulin resistance, of central adiposity, or other traits, but there's no conclusive evidence about the reason for this. However, this is an extremely high risk and an increasingly large and important ethnic group in the United States. So this is a major public health problem. And even without an explanation, it warrants a public health effort to try to reduce risk in South Asians. Now, the only methods we have for reducing risk now are the general risk factor control methods, but these should be vigorously pursued in this ethnic group, probably more vigorously than in other ethnic groups with the same level of measurable risk factors.